Well, hello, hello everybody. It's me, Finn. We are playing Hogwarts Legacy. Now, I know it's late, definitely late, like four months, five months late. And uh, the reasoning behind that is because I'm not rich like a lot of people. So it takes a while for me, all right? Shit they all get that's new, is I, it's new to me like three months later, you know? But, uh, finally got the game, been wanting to try it out, you know, I've been, I've been a, I've been a Harry Potter fan ever since I was a kid, I love Harry Potter, great game, not game, <laughs> it's gonna be a great game, but the movies, I've watched them all, I've watched Sorcerer of Stone, like, multiple, multiple times, so, yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna hop right into this. Start this game. Oh my character creation. Oh lord. This is gonna be interesting. Alright. This is gonna take a while. This is the closest I can get to what I look like in real life. So Yeah, yeah. Face reveal, kind of. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Let's start a journey. Let's get it. Let's get it. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. I can't Thank wait. You, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Whoa. Oh, Who is that? <laughs> George, glad my rather uh. cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. <laughs> when I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eliasar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. I do. I. I no. I. I didn't mean that. Been to the castle? Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. He's worried about something. Up and away. Yo, what was that? Warner Bros. Games. Gotta love this music. Wizarding World. I'm flying! Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. <laughs> is it because I'm mixed? I've never heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. No, I have No, I. no, it's because I'm Of mixed. course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? Newspaper article I have. 
Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe uh, he that? is a significant threat. And there's it was dragons in this one? Eleazar. Just roaming we around? His activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. Great, now you I got me in this shit. It. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Oh. Huh. Oh, there it is. Merlin's Whoa. Beard. How did you wait? We did. Oh! Oh, oh shit! Oh my like, god! Oh, okay. okay. Oh my god! Oh, he's gone. Yep, he's dead. He 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 he's dead. Go 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 go. He's not nice. He's not nice at all. Oh. Grab it! Grab it! Grab it, you old fuck! The key! Give me your heart! I do! Dude, I was not expecting that. Wow. That was a quick turn. Are you all right? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan Well Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Wigan Well Potion. Okay. I'm liking this. We don't start off what at the happened? castle just yet. Oh, George. I can't believe he. He got fucked. Who got into That's... that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair. A typical dragon would never. Professor. <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key. Dude, this is beautiful. I'm enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. The scenery. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Whoa. Yo! Look at that! Where did he take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. Do you the think... port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But I Miriam wasn't expecting that, that dragon to eat that guy. For a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the poor key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient oh. magic? 
Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Let's go. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. I agree with that. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It Black appears ice. to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. You Let's don't see say. some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Oh, I get to use my wand? Okay. <laughs> oh, man, that is beautiful. Excellent. Use your camera to select an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same thumbstick by disabling camera relative targeting in settings. Yeah, I might change that. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Oh. Man, that is cool. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. I am Finn Moragan. Didn't we just... Oh, wait, no, we didn't. I thought you were looking at that cliff. Put that face. We're close now. It's just ahead. That is just amazing. Steady yourself! <laughs> oh, that's sick. That's so awesome. Did you teach me that spell? Can I shoot that bird? Almost there. someone have built this here I suspect they valued their privacy that port key led us here for a reason let's have a look around for key. anything that seems out of place this looks out of place right here the mini map shows your surroundings with your purple in the middle this yellow is your current objective press and hold the toggle Professor Fig and I have traveled via port key to remote cliffside in the Scottish Highlands. We need to explore the mysterious rooms that we suspect the port key was meant to lead us to. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Mm, perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Looking through something. Bam. Bam. Fuck shit up. Ooh, what's this? It's a wizard. It's the great wizard man from TikTok I see all the damn time. Wizard gang. We're casting spells. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. Maybe. Where am I supposed to climb? 
wait, wait, wait. Here we go. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? <laughs> Professor Fig! Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Uh. Hello? A moment. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> what the hell? <laughs> the Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Fuck, you are short. Vault number 12, I presume. Uh, <clears throat> Precisely. Yeah. The key. White's porky. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay I don't close. know, that guy's gonna rob us. He's gonna rob the fuck out of us. Why do you have such huge hands? Bro, about to make me a pastry. Inside the cart, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> yeah. How many votes are there? Hundreds. Whoa. So cool. You want to take a breath? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the numbers oh. that were passing that. How deep are we going? This railroad is Vox crazy. Vox number 12 was commissioned shortly after Greenlocks was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle Damn. here. We've quite a distance to go. Wonder what's in it. Man, that was pretty cool. Oh, look, he's wearing a little hat. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> On your way. Something odd about him. Yeah, that's something very odd. Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. 
Like the glow you saw in the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. The he watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Makes it even more mysterious. Here we are. When was the last time this fort was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Oh, wow. Vault 12. Well, why am I, I the only help. one? that can open it, but not the husband. That's what I'm not making clear. What makes me so special? What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait, 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 whoa, what? Uh, Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Steady your wand with L and guide it along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input, the prompt to accelerate your wand's motion along the symbol's path. Oh! Oh, that was too close. Okay. Rebellion. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Hell yes. Lumos. This is no ordinary oh. vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Yeah. I see something up ahead. It's there. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. When I moved towards Whoa. the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. It's a night. Sword. Okay. There must be oh. something to that reflection you're seeing. Revelio, 
I presume this is what you reflected in the Big floor. Brain. Big brain. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Oh yeah, I learned Loomis, baby. You acquire the Wand Lightning Charm, Loomis, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Loomis creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in the dark areas. Of course, I mean, I should know. I watched the Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, let's try it out. Awesome. The is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Oh, there we go. Oh. Nice. Oh. Look out! Oh, shh! We can talk about this. We can... Some shoes. Look at the shoes of this guy. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. Oh, mess him up. Mess him up. Mess him up. Mess him up. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah. Come at me. Come at me. Oh. Oh, no. Back away. Back away, back away. Oh. Well, it's who else wants some? Let's go. We got this. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This is good. Where are you? Lumos. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? Oh, we got separated. The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Well, I hope he's all right. That is my teacher. I ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow. It's like I gotta fight again. Lumos. Oh, wait. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. There we go. Lumos. Okay. Ah, I see. Well, it seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Let's do it. Ah, there. Quick. Woo, this is good combat. Fat. Nice. Hold Y during Vertigo to stun with the stupid. Try it. Let's go. Who wants, wants to go first? Potato. Stupid one. Oh. Stupid one. Look at you. 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 Look at you.
tady. Takhle. Brain, baby. It's up. Lumos. Professor Fig. Nice. above that basin that is no mere basin There's that is a pensive with... for viewing memories I wonder so they brought him back because he wasn't making that take it follow my lead he back at the door Oh, just like in the movies. Is that Dumbledore? Is that Dumbledore? Who is that? All is in place. The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I'll start it. I wonder yeah. if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. Whoa. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And hey, you, George. it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just... 
Give me whatever it is you found here, and we can let bygones be bygones. God, you look like a... <coughs> and Sir, ugly as fuck. They have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. Oh, let him go. No, you didn't. Okay. Okay, you let him go. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> What is that? Magic! Oh. Yep, we need to leave. We need to go. There. Don't stand there. Get, come on. Stop standing there. So powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. It's Hogwarts. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Ha <laughs> ha! It was destiny already for me to come. Yes! Yes! Oh, yeah! That looks so good. Hogwarts legacy. Hey, I'm actually liking this. That's awesome. That is really awesome. the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Oh, now, thank you. I, I actually really hated those clothes. As soon as I can, but first I must contact the ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Hell yeah, let's get to it. to meet the headmaster. 
month is a Fee. good thing. Nice of you to join us. The sorting yeah, no, this is going to be good. Over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. Yeah, I'm not going to like this if guy at all. lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. Please? Damn. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. All right. I'll see you then, Professor. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Oh, Weasley. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Thank you. Oh. Oh, that feels nice. Actually, he's moving. Feels weird. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? A bit. You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to explore. I'm like, looking forward to exploring I'm... Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Yes, thank you. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit, but your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. True. Mm. I wonder... Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm. What is it? The like, quick question, I'm, I've been wondering this, uh, is, your, is the whole of the hat an ass? So am I literally wearing an ass hat? Since you can speak and everything? But anyways, I'm off track here. Hmm, I wonder, I check something, a certain sense of... Huh. Shoot. Not curiosity. Not really curious. Not much as daring. Loyalty, ambition. Loyalty, ambition. Alright, let's flip a coin for loyalty or ambition. I know. I'm. Ambition it, it is. is. Ambition. I may seem single minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Mm, yep. Interesting. Sounds a, you recently a lot like learned me. that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. No, no. No, 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 because I would do Slytherin, I would, but I wanna, I wanna keep my uh, my way. Because like I said before, in the app, Wizarding World, check it out if you have the game, if you haven't done that yet, it'll tell you which house you belong to. And surprisingly. I belong to Ray. I'm just kidding. Fucking with you, Gryffindor. Possess a willingness to forge your head alone when you must. Yeah. Daring, bravery, and chivalry. Yeah. Better be Gryffindor. Yes. Even though I chose it, but yes. Yeah. Oh yes, there is black people. Oh, <laughs> one more thing. About to say. Due to the oh, unfortunate God. injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Ah. 
What? Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. So you want me to leave? Or... Okay, yeah. God! Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor oh. Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was oh, saying, be I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. I Hello. As, well, Professor. as deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Yes, ma'am. Show me the way. Not that kind of way. I know what y'all thinking. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am oh. a Gryffindor. Never called nice. a password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? <laughs> I love how it says fat lady. The password is Grata Domum. Grata, Grata Domum. You may enter. Why is she called a fat lady? Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Okay. All right, I'm back. <coughs> So, this is the common room for the Gryffindor. Oh, this is so exciting. Man, this is so awesome. Just how I pictured it, really. And my bird. No, oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. The bird that I had. I think, I'm pretty sure that was my owl. And it just got demolished by a dragon. Well, that's, 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 that's a shame. That's okay, well. Let's Rebecca. try Revelio. Is there any secrets, maybe? No? Okay. Cool. Alright. I don't think I'm supposed to be in here. Oh, I'm supposed to go upstairs? Okay, well, I guess that's another dorm room. Now, which way is the common room? Man, this place is really nice. Look at all them trophies. What's in here? Level one lock. Oh wow. Okay. It must be different starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. Talking to me? Oh yep. So they did hear it. You'll like it. Trust me. Oh, a Weasley! Sure you don't want to try it? Gareth. I brewed it myself. <laughs> What's up? Hello. 
you're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe Finn it. Morgan. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, uh. yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. <laughs> so am I. Thank you. you. To Professor Weasley. I am. She's my aunt. Cool. That must, must be, be nice, nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. Fair enough. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Such Are you book. having butter beer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh, no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more work. Do you have a knack for potions, too? Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to Butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. Well, nice meeting you, man. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. Huh? Okay, cool. Introduce yourself to Chrisetta and Nelly. She gets bolder every year. Oh, I mean an apple! And that was the quickest apple I've ever eaten, too. Whoa, what are you... Whoa, what are you, are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? <sighs> yeah, it's true. Yes, our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey, I can't believe it. How thrilling. And also terrifying. Anyway, Tell me about you've it. You've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. What are the people saying about my travels here? Yeah, I want to know about what they think of me. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? <laughs> Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon, of course it's got people talking. Word travels okay, fast good. at Hogwarts. Apparently. Not afraid of heights. Obviously. I take it you're not afraid of heights. Hmm. It's something I've always done since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. Have you ever encountered a dragon? I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I've never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I'd think. I'm sure Where's I'll be me? seeing you around, either in our common room or when you <laughs> scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. Man, these voice actors... They sound so highly, you know? They sound like they have money. Unlike me. But anyways, let's go speak to Chrisetta. Oh, is that a glow? Right. Oh, nice. Keep spinning. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. 
Pleasure to meet you. Pressler. Splendidly theatrical name. arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? I've studied with him. I wouldn't say I'm a... Well, kind of. I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did study with him a little before yeah. he arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Perhaps you just need a little bit more practice. Practice makes perfect. A little more practice ought to do it. I practiced all summer. I can spells more complicated than this one without speaking. What's so difficult about this one? I'm just need going to keep more practice. Hmm. How hard is it to cast nonverbal spells? Is it really that difficult to cast them verbally? Oh yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> <laughs> can most students cast non-verbally? Most students know how to cast non-verbally. Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year, and even then, mm. many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Well, I wish you luck. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. New Gryffindor, Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Wish we didn't have to use the dagger. So you go through here? Oh! Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most I of sure it. Ha you only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially right. as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? You say owls. Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Hmm. Whoa. Here you are. So this is like a level book? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. Ha! Ah. You would be wise oh. to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Oh, I will. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Hmm. This way. The guide so will give you like opportunities a... to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. This is like a quick rundown book. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. I'm trying. How are you walking so fast? Ah, the guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Revelio. This portrait depicts the wizard buff Barufio, 
famed for his brain elixir and as an example of what happens when incantations are improperly sp spoken. He once said s instead of f and found himself on the floor with a buffalo on his chest. Huh. Oh, that must suck. You just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears here. Okay. Field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. Whoa, so... Defeating opponents or unlocking things won't give me XP. Yikes. Okay. This is your wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Collecting your first guide page unlocked a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Select field guide pages to continue. Each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock to each tier you complete from appearances to critical upgrades. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. I should have unlocked that. But okay. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside and outside of the castle. Okay. <gasps> Kitty! I want to touch it. Let me touch it. No time to Oh wait. my goodness! Hello! <gasps> it's purring. Oh my Goodness, Pepper would be jealous. <laughs> yeah, that is so cute. Ah, good timing. Perfect Jeez. opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. You've discovered a flu flames. Fast travel point. You can open the map at any time to fast travel to any discovered flu flames. Okay. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live. and includes the house common used in Great Hall. Select the South Wing region to continue. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house common. Gray flu flame can be the location of other spider flames. Okay. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Select the library annex region to continue. Okay, so each flag is a different region. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flu flames for you. How kind. Use R stick to rotate the map and fast travel to the central hall for flames for X. Nice. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to central hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening My here. Page. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Awesome. Uh, can you tell me more about Charmed class? What will I learn in Charmed class? Exactly what you might expect. 
Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Defense Can against you the tell dark me arts. More about the defense against the dark arts class. Defense against the dark arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Uh, what's you Hogsmeade? mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, okay. I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Tell me about it. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. You gotta lie. I made a promise to Professor Figs. There's only between me and him. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of yep. the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, sure I'm afraid did. I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And yes. invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find Bloody. me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Awesome. Hey. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I didn't like to lie to I her. I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little deceptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your Just time than she people. would approve of. And she may feel story. obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Thank Speaking you. of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Yes! Show me the way.
track available quests from the map. Okay, before I do that, I want to make sure you can hear me. Yeah, that's fine. Let's raise the microphone just a little bit up. You should tap it up. Okay, this represents main quest. Completing main quest will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirement. Oh, so there is a leveling system. In these cases, you will need to be required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignment or as a quest reward. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Track a quest with A to continue. I want to do the charms class. I want to meet this professor. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. Your yes! Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Quest complete. All right, let's go to our class. Defense against the Dark Arts Tower. Okay, okay. Did he just wave at me? Hang on. Let's try that again. He did! Look at that! Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm truly sorry. I didn't mean... Whoa. go see that later okay so this must be upstairs is the charms class I can't wait to see what I can learn this room looks yeah. kind of familiar behind you there is an open seat here thank you I'll take it Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Mm -hmm. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome yeah. to year five of chance. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right? Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Uh... Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. Damn. Why, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you <laughs> remember how to put the basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Damn. Well, it seems that no we're in time of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. All right. Now let's, let's put those work with Maddie. to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Okay. So, do I learn a new charm? I do! Akio! Awesome! Boom, boom, boom. Bam! Akio. Akio! Nice. It is not bad. 
You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very oh. good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> Whoa. So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Sure. Very simply, Accio. The summoning the charm Accio pulls a target to the caster. Hold R T and press the, the assigned button. Accio, uh, think of this like gobstones. That's it. Excellent control there. Oh no. Focus. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, sure. would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. What's this? Use Akio to summon a ball as close as you can to the edge of that going over in order to score points. Oh. Oh, crap. I can do that. I can do that. Watch and learn. Haha, <laughs> beat that. <laughs> Nicely done. Let us see this. No, come on, come, come on. There we go. Okay, my heart's pounding. Let's do this. Okay. Yes. Remarkable. Yes. Yes. Make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. Oh, I'll say. Enough chatter, focus now, you will need it. This round settles it all. Watch this. Oh no, that's too much. Oh wait, it's perfect. It's perfect! Let's go! Excellent. 50! Control there. It's all about the place you go. Here we go. Oh no. Oh no. No 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 Yeah. Hmm. Right here. Oh, damn it. Quite impressive. No, it's not. Damn. That is 
I don't think I can beat her. Let's try it. Okay. Let's wait till the boxes move. And now. It's gonna fall over. Yes! Tied again. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. No one wins. It's just a tie. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. A tight game. It turns out we were evenly matched. Took me True. weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Thank you. Glad you understand. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach oh. divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. It's nice to Thank learn you. about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next Man, time. He's got the menacing eyes over there. Of course. You can A word, use if you would. Humans. Yes. If you wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation. Well. An outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? And what a close match between you and Miss Onai. Invigorating. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Ooh! So exciting! So exciting! Hello I attended there. my first You're class. Student, aren't you? Oh, yes! Hello, you wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I oh, it's the girl from you. the class. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. It's kind of you to <laughs> say. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Let me well, guess. Better see Slender. my charms homework. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Right, let's get started. Is that all you've got? Yeah. Swallow that cock. <laughs> Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Wow. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, <laughs> Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now. Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Okay. Levioso. It's not 
Level your sauce. Level your sauce. Level your sauce. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with the basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent. Now, well done. Ha <laughs> ha. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper but Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel. I mean, using only Leviosa, fair game. basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. <laughs> Nothing lucky about it. I know. <laughs> Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I am as good as he gets. Remember that. I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Look at you. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him, guys. Frowning. Getting his ass beat by a mixed kid. Thought you had nice one work because you're a white. Oh, maybe I'm just that. I'm sorry. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice. Even it felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've jeweled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest jewel when you aren't. You know, <laughs> you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Unsanctioned? I don't know. School rules are in place for a reason. Yes, to keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared to know. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just ha, have to be clever enough that. not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance, if you're interested. What about the room, Professor? 
I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Hasn't Professor Fig said Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan, Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your yes. classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Oh, look at my face. That, that's, a, that's a grin face. I'm doing one right now, too. <laughs> what more can you tell me about the potions? Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. So, there really is an Ollivanders here? There's an Ollivanders in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very I, I am. I'd like you to make your first Love visit to the village with a classmate. It feels Hope what I feel. Bearings. Perhaps Excitement. Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Natty. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows Sebastian, the area. Just, She'll keep just you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's you Don't get me in trouble. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Nice. A teenage bar. Love it. Speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignments are types of quests given to you by Hogwarts professors that, when completed, reward you with new spells. The reward for completing your first assignment will be mending a charm, repair, which is required to complete other quests. You can track assignments and the progress in the quest menu of your field guide. So, I can't. But, like, can I go? Ah, there you are. I am eager to learn. You have uh, a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The Mending Charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, 
Makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged awesome. some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Was the Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Like I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Rebellion! The Wyvern Fountain. This fountain is the Transfiguration Courtyard. It has a likeness of a wyvern on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumors to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Catogon, this is most assuredly not meant to be the wyvern of Y, slain by the lively knight in spite of himself. Oh, I know this place. I know this place very well. In the this is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Revelio! Oh, come here. Action. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Ah, okay. <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon squeeze. I trust the preliminary tasks. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. That's it! Very good! If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate. Lashed out! Like she got flashed. Boom, penis. <laughs> I can't think of anything that would run with wand. Hello, looking for me? Sure way. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward yeah. to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Let's get right to it. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. 
I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after oh. being cooped up in ancient rooms. Great hey, mistake look. to take it as an electric there it is. Class, believe me. I forgot what you call the game, but this, the game. No, I suppose area you would there. not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lace-winged flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Okay. So we can craft our own potions? Oh wait, I think I'm more excited about that than the more now. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Look, from the forbidden forest, hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Hoggy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Hey, Ross, hon already named them too. Oh, boy, so sugar, That's the Potter ain't got shit on me. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Huh? Hello, Mr. Moon. You Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. Huh? What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, Dougley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. <sighs> Poor Thank Mr. You. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I, I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just hugs meat. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep I that agree. in mind, Natty. Thank you. So this must be hugs. And here we are. It is hard <gasps> to know where to start. Oh my the god, you are beautiful. beautiful. And you can what get any you. sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. Then again, Pepper will be mad at me. It changes with every visit. I can Thanks. tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade.
Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spell crafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander. And I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should yes. be able to catch everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience give me, give me, give me. Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Okay. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. I'll see you then. Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guide's map. This Hogwarts map shows, or well, Hogsmeade map, shows shops and points of interest. You can track of any of these highlights and icons. And pressing A. All of Enders. If we do look at that, it's right beside us. Ooh, let's get me a wand. Let's just search these. Uh, hello. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Of course. Ah, uh, hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Ten and a half. Sounds just about right. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. Oh. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Right. <sighs> oh boy. Oh dear. Whew. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> nope. Uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Is that my wand? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. oh. oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, <laughs> this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. I um, Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Oh, yeah. Yes. This is not my wand, but that's okay because I have it right here on my phone. It is a apple wood with a dragon heart string core, twelve and supple flexibility. No, it's this one. It has to be. All right. This is my wand. Uh. Very excited. Very excited. What do you think? Extraordinary. Yes. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now. How did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. 
The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Of course. All right, we got our wand, man. Oh, oh, man, this is so exciting. This is great. Okay, let's go to the potion shop. Fend the alchemist on the way. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Rebellion. Oh, I saw you. J. Pippin's Potion, established in 1753, is the apo apothecary in Hogsmeade, where. What's with these big words for me? Proprietor. Perry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I 